Casper, Casper, Casper. All I've been hearing is the talk about Casper. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. In today's video, we'll be doing a full review of Casper. Is it early? Are you late? V, life had never been pretty. Couldn't even put it in a frame. By any means, had to get it. But always kept my hands clean. Making moves across the nation. Every dollar made a dream. Building profit from creation. Any thought could be a thing. How could they take it if they never gave it? If I'm unenslaved, then it's me that's gonna make it. I feel like I'm meant for better. And you should too, because we all deserve it for special. Hey, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur inside the algorithms. Consider checking out the links in the description if you're interested in knowing my super DJ plays. Of course, it's just my opinion. I am not a financial advisor. Now, let's talk about Casper because Casper has allegedly solve the blockchain trilemma now i'm not here to make a bullish or bearish video about casper i'm just here to give my opinion in fact i've heard that before I, i've heard that all throughout 2020 and 2021 that casper excuse me that kadena kda had solved the blockchain um trilemma but has casper and i think that is the question and i don't want to focus too much on utility because again with casper it can get a little bit technical um they're running off the block dag technology and a lot of people feel like that technology is everything bitcoin was supposed to be but can also do everything ethereum can't do so very very bullish on how casper is sort of like an infusion between bitcoin and ethereum Inter interesting perspective there right now the all-time low for Casper, which is which was about three zero one, and the all-time high, which just recently was September nineteenth, was five cents. So if you got into Casper all the way down here, salute to you. You are the true MVP of the crypto universe. Now a lot of people think it's over for Casper. Oh, it's looking like a double top. It, it it's too late. It's in my opinion, I would argue that because even though casper is sitting here at a one bill almost a one billion dollar market cap you check out the markets is listed on it's still not listed on some of the biggest exchanges like the binances coinbase and even crypto.com and we know one thing about binance and even coinbase when they get into a crypto project they literally buy out the crypto project i can count so many projects that binance is top the top three holder in some cases by two Binance wallets are in the top five of some of these crypto projects. So I think Casper has that in its back pocket. The fact that it's pumped so quickly to me is um, not surprising when you look at some of the team behind the project. Um, um, Yolatan Sampolinsky is used to work um, with Ethereum here. A lot of people seem to be bullish on this guy in the crypto space. Reminds me of um, that one guy that, um, that a lot of people were bullish about the Phantom program, um, Project Last Bull Run, and then we seen Phantom go crazy. And I believe he left the project, came back, but sometimes the team is the reason why you see a lot of bullish sentiment of these projects. As you can see right here from Coin Gobbler, Ethereum literally implemented a protocol, Jonathan Sampolinsky wrote. And people are bearish on Casper. So a lot of people are not only bearish on the utility use case of Casper, but they also are bullish on the team and founder. You can see here that Casper has been in the works for a while. So if you don't know, they've been working on Block Dag and the Ghost Protocol for for the last eight years. So this is not something that just popped out of thin air and everybody was like, oh, Casper, it, it, it's, you know, like how meme coins. This is something that's been in the work works for the last eight years so i'm not surprised when i have you know done my research and seen the success that casper is having not surprised at all a little bit about some of the features of casper here you can see casper was developed to solve the trilemma in the uses of digital assets security scalability and decentralization so it has the decentralization of something like a bitcoin but it also didn't give up its security um like proof of stake like we've seen from ethereum so many um hacks here with proof of stake tokens so you can literally not only use caspa as a store of value but you actually can build on caspa you can develop on caspa and i think that's the infusion in my opinion you know you don't see too many people um, building smart contracts on bitcoin i mean now you got the brc20 tokens but in the past bitcoin was solely looked as 
as a store of value. And Ethereum was the project that everybody migrated it to build and develop on and develop smart contracts. With something like Caspa, it could do both, right? It could do both. And miners also make money off mining Caspa. So that's also another plus to the Caspa ecosystem is that you could earn a passive income through mining Caspa. Now, I know it's been a lot of FUD um, over the miners. I think one of the biggest miners in Caspa did, did a video on how, how he was leaving Caspa because, frankly, the gist of what I got from this video is he just needed to upgrade his uh, mining equipment. So I believe once everybody starts upgrading their mining equipment, this new mining equipment, a lot of miners will migrate back to Caspa. So, you know, you can earn a passive income through Caspa and also build on Caspa and it's proof of work. So a lot of people um, prefer proof of work over proof of stake because of the decentralization. So, you know, fast transactions like something like a Hedera, but also... Um, decentralized like bitcoin which makes it a store of value so you can see institutional interest you know pouring to casper at any time now i know it's pumped a while but when i look at the uh the charts here i think a lot of people are calling the double top um a little bit premature and and this is why family if we go here to the uh, monthly charts here with casper you can see on the monthly this thing has been on a range okay and even if this last candle here, this last monthly candle closes above the previous high right here, you can possibly say that Casper family just put in a higher high. So it did wick up to an all time high, but it wasn't able to stick as it got resistance resisted at its all time high. But that wick candle tells me one thing that Casper potentially can put in a higher high on the monthly which shows us that the trend continues uh this trend line here family as you can see this red trend line shows us that casper has been on a rage for the last um six months to a year just a rage of just upward momentum even the stock rsi is looking to gain more momentum and head to the upside so because of the bullish a momentum that I'm seeing from the stock RSI, we could possibly push above this high here and make another higher high, which would confirm that Casper still is in a bullish trend. So seeing that this project is sitting at a $1 billion market cap, it's safe to say, in my opinion, that Casper can still 30X to 50X. I'm looking at it to hit anywhere between a $30 billion market cap and a $50 billion market cap. Anything else is going to be tough because once you get in that 50 billion range, it's a lot of sell pressure. And frankly, you got to prove that the, your project can start to consolidate somewhere between 10 and uh, uh, 50 billion. So it, it, it'll be tough for for a new project because we've seen it from Pepe, for instance. I know Pepe is a meme coin, but, you know, once it topped out, it wasn't able to maintain that um that liquidity level as far as market cap in the billion dollars is actually hard. Casper, on the other hand, can be utilized. It has utility. It has a use case. I mean, you can use the token. You can mine the token. So there is a, you know, there is a conversation to be had about if we see Casper above the 30 to $50 billion market cap, if it can sustain it. And I think that's the biggest thing you want to see from a project like this that's already over, you know, you know, near, or should I say, you know, I know at one point it was a $1 billion market cap, but it's right there, right? 900 million, you could say it's 1 billion. You know, you want to see those that, that project sustain that level of growth. And for, for the most part, we've seen Casper sustain that level of growth, even on the daily here. It's extremely bullish. Um, I mean, you can say it's, you know, put in a double top, but again, there's a trend here and it's starting to ride the 50 day moving average like a champ. So, Everything that I'm seeing with Casper tells me that it can still run. Um, I know, you know, a lot of people want me to find something bearish about Casper. It's really hard to find something bearish about Casper besides the fact that right now, in the short term, the miners are not profitable. A lot of people are leaving Casper as far as the mining. And I think the holder count over time has been declining, um, which tells me that the project could have possibly topped out. So it's good to see that the top 10 address only top 10 addresses only holds 16% of the total supply. So not a project that can 
frankly be manipulated. You know, you don't see this too much from altcoins. So everything around Casper fundamentally is sound. It's hard to say something bad about this project. The one thing that I would be a little bit concerned about is the fact that it's pumped so quick. It has to consolidate. It has to correct in the future because that's healthy for a cryptocurrency. You can't just keep going up because eventually you're going to fall down. And when you do fall down, the crash is even more severe because you didn't build any you know, foundation or any support on the way up. So I would like to see Casper start building some support because we've seen something, you know, you know, um, for many altcoins, if they go up too fast and don't build support, they just fall back down and take away all the gains, right? So um, 30 to 50 billion, I feel like Casper is still can 30 to 50x in the next bull cycle. But I think people um, over overestimate how much a hundred billion dollars is 200 billion we're seeing these crazy prices and predictions i just think that let's hold your horses let's hit a 10 billion dollar market cap 25 billion and then 50 billion and then we can start talking about something like a 100 billion dollar market cap and it's okay because i've made that mistake of making that type of prediction with meme coins i don't bet they can't 100 but nah 100 billion dollars is a lot of freaking money so i'm excited to see where casper can can go as far as my personal portfolio is not something that I personally hold. I like to get into projects early. I don't think getting into this project now is early. I think that if you're playing with a substantial amount of liquidity and you're looking for something like a 10x, 30x, 50x, there's still a possibility. But if you're working to get a 100x or more, I don't see that with Casper. At least not this bull run. So y'all let me know what y'all think about Casper. Casper solving the blockchain dilemma. Are you bullish? Are you bearish on Casper? What do you think about the miners leaving Casper and uh, the capitulation that's going on within the mining sector of Casper? And uh, could Casper be that perfect infusion, that perfect balance between Bitcoin and Ethereum? Everything that Bitcoin was supposed to be, but nobody develops on Bitcoin because it's <laughs> it's too slow and it's just it's just too slow and the fees are just crazy and then people want to develop on ethereum but the speed isn't just there and the fees are just insane so maybe casper might be that middleman project that sees the hype because it can equally do what both are attempting to do and i think that's why a lot of people are drawn to Casper, and maybe we see that institutional interest from Casper. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Casper. It's been one of the hottest cryptocurrencies in the bear market. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.